Hello everyone, Sigmalator here. Welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. I think we are... We've spoken to everyone we can on here for now, haven't we? Yes. Oh. I have points to spend. Alright, let's boost this up. Move some weapon size. That one. Regen delay reduction 50%. Damage resistance in cover 100. Low health damage resistance. Right, that one, I think. Assault rifles. Can't afford you yet. Concussive shot. Can I afford you? Yes, I can. Uh, radius 2.5. Let's go for that one. Right, that's all done. Oh, I can auto level up everyone. That's handy. There we go, just give them everything. That's help that's helpful. Right, I still never worked out well to that N seven armor I produced. Let it go. Oh, never mind. Apex personnel, please check your duty roster for important updates. Let's head back. All right, you're just having a random conversation. Docking Bay. Let's get back to the Tempest and... As talks break down over a unified curriculum for initiative kids. The Asari say they'll wait it out until demands are met. This is h and Oh yeah, this. Just stand down, ma'am. Or you'll shoot me. Good luck explaining that to my grandchildren. What happened? She was about to disconnect the water hoses, threaten all the plants. They're saying the leaders won't wake our families. Well, this is how far we're willing to go. Their move. I know this is hard, but for the good of the Nexus, we need you to be patient. We've already waited. How old will I be by the time Mom's out of stasis? Take it easy, kid. The Pathfinder's got a point. I'll go off station if I have to. I'll find anyone who'll actually do something. You want your mom to wake up and find you exiled or dead? I... Reese, don't. Anything's better than that. Even the longest wait of our lives. When our families hear about this, they'll probably agree with the Pathfinder. You're done here. Come on. Oh yeah, I forgot that was a thing. Alright. Now we can move on. Oh yeah, I need... Do you want to talk to me, or are you just crouching? My team and I surveyed EOS thoroughly, and even stopped the storms. The rest is up to the outpost, but the old threats are gone. What? Okay, I'm not sure what's going on there. Right, I should check my email to see if I've had any people try to contact me. So I'm still waiting to hear back from the people who freed me from Sam.
all systems green. Excellent, thank you. Poker awaits. Right, the uh, bell tolls for thee. Meet me in the vortex on Nexus. I'll be the one shuffling the deck of doom. Right. Meet Gil at the vortex. Okay. What was that? That PB's not in here. Well, I probably should chat with everyone, especially PB. Keep the romance going. Should have seen it. Perfect trip. You know we've got a finite set of tires, right? Also limbs and lives. Well, what's the point of having them then? Oh, I researched it, but no, but now I have to actually develop it. Okay, that makes a sort of sense. Advanced life support, that's probably a good idea. I can't do that yet. Agility mode. As the Nordies, uh, the nomads are... Which is always on by default to be disabled, giving an expert driver greater control over the vehicle with stability assist disabled. The nomad is more agile. Fence fortification. Probably a good idea. Emergency shield discharge. Entirely depleted shield cells were discharged, generating a shockwave that sends nearby enemies flying. Roof boost. Okay, so I've got a f quite a few things to look into. Um, do I have any more of these to spend? I do not. Right. Where is PV? Or we check the map. PV is over there. That's how it's said. Yep. Though Asari biotics are a few hundred thousand years ahead. Humans are catching up. Humans back home, maybe. You skipped class for 600 years. Hey, PB. How you doing? I did not like the look of that Archon. Maybe the Angara will let me pitch a tent on Aya for the duration. You'd let a bone-faced blowhard like that deprive you of my scintillating company? That blowhard hates you now. If you're not careful, he might deprive me of your company. <sighs> All right. Next time, keep him on the line. I might have something to say. I like it when you flirt. I wouldn't want you to stop. Have I flirted with you? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Ryder. I'm relentless. It relaxes me. Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. Alrighty. I'm not running all the way around where I can just do this. Hey, Jarl, how you doing? Yes? What's your story, Jarl? Tell me about yourself. Why? Well, why wouldn't you? You hiding something? Maybe. That would only make sense. You're messing with me. Right? Possibly. What does that mean? Uh, it's an idiom. It means you're joking, trying to make me feel uncomfortable. Ah, then no. Ephra instructed me to be cautious. I'm not very good at being cautious. That's enough. Until we've established a better trust with each other. Yeah, right. fair enough. But let's have a quick catch up with the rest of the crew. Always a good idea to make sure your team's all good. Hey, Cora. 
Hi there. How's the search for the Asari Ark going? Nothing new. Let's stay optimistic. Any more commando war stories? We once infiltrated a dangerous cult by posing as new initiates. Valenza hated it. She was like our padre. The cult, that perversion of faith, really upset her. How did you stop them? Nasira pretended that Valenza needed to be purified of evil. She was given a private audience with the cult leader. Valenza shot her and then prayed for her. See you later, Cora. I'll be here. All right. Uh, no. Cora. Then we've got Drac, Vetra, Sam. Oh, yeah, I meant to go back to Sam, though, didn't I? Oh, well. Too late now. You know, there was a time when Sid was afraid of space. We were traveling a lot, and one day she just woke up and realized there was nothing outside the shuttle walls. Happened more than once. She panicked. I'd hold her for as long as it took. She doesn't even remember now. It was only for a month or two. Funny, huh? The things they don't remember. When you feel like it's up to you to hold on to it, or else it's just gone. And there's just something there that you know you're missing. Drac? Just hold on to it. Uh. Alright, nothing new there. Hey, Drac. Hey. Now that we've been digging, it's clear you were right about Spender. Guy like that'll do anything to get ahead. Just wonder how far he went. Got any stories or advice to share? Does a pie jack scratch its butt? <laughs> Tell me more about fighting Cat. So, Chosen, it's not good to let too many of them get close to you at once. If they hit your shields, take a step back. Let me handle them. Bet you anything they're not used to being rushed by a Krogan. <laughs> we can talk more later. Sure. But Ryder, there's really no need for you to get so close to them. Look, what is that? What can I do for you, Pathfinder? You probably have work. You know where to find me. Yeah. All right, nothing new there. All right. Sam, anything new with you? Hello, Scott. How are those jokes coming, Sam? Why don't Thresher Moors eat comedians? Because they taste funny. Uh. <laughs> Thanks, Sam. Nothing more. Oh, so there's more models I can collect. Need to keep an eye out for those. All right. Just not there's anyone. Again, I'll lend you thirty if you pay me back by tomorrow. Done. Thank you, Subi. Someday I'll find out why you're always strapped for credits. Yeah, what's going on with you, Callow? All right. So I've got the firefighters and poker game there. Okay. Trail of Hope, are you? Meet the resistance on Vol, but we've got loads to do. Let's check out some of these uh, non-story related ones first. I'm pretty sure there's no time limit, so we should be all right. This is about as far as the Nexus surveyors could get before, well... Let's see what's waiting here. I'm picking up something. Let's see what we've got. All right. 
Ain't nothing on that one. Probes launched. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. Well, let's grab it. More minerals, the better. Alright, nothing else hiding. Alright, let's check out the rest of these. Nothing there. Very imaginative names for some of these. A, a letter and some numbers. I first name lots of numbers. Alright, let's go check out a black hole because why wouldn't you? Her black hole. Caution is advised. Well, yeah. The black hole is a collapsed star. Pretty sure we shouldn't even be this close to it. In there. And just to wrap up. There we go. That's this section 100%. I'm pretty sure we'll have to come back here at some point. Helping Havel scientists. There's this one as well. Okay, let's head here. We'll, we'll try to get as close to 100% as I can. I'm bound to miss some stuff because I, I haven't. I think I've only completed this. I think I only completed this all the way through once. So my. Uh, I'm not going to remember everything. Like, even, even with the Mass Effect trilogy, I've played that so many times I still forgot stuff. It sustained catastrophic electrical damage. Oh, blimey. It has indeed. That's the research vessel Dr. Aridana informed us of. There are no life readings within. She'll want to know. Oh, well. Oh, yeah, I forgot we had that mission. Find the missing science vessel. Well, we've done that. Habitat 7. I'm picking up something. Yeah, pretty sure we can't land on here anymore. Satellite detected. There we go. Yeah, it's not gonna let us land on there anymore. Do you have anything interesting for us? Anomaly detected. You do. Got a okay, I'm not quite sure what the significance of a crater is, but let's roll with it. Pretty sure the music stopped. Yeah, it has. It stopped. Oh no, it hasn't. It's just doing Anomaly a weird thing. Sensors. Probe away. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. There you go, it's back. Alright, sweet. Now this area is 100%. You're done, you're done. 
I'm going to skip past you for now. I know we need to do those missions to help build trust with Jarl, but I want to get these smaller areas out of the way. A lonely system. It's almost lost in the scourge. What else could be lost out there? A lot, I reckon. Anomaly detected. Deploying probe. What have you got for me? Starship wreckage. Don't even know what ship that is. Orion Nav processors. Not enough, of, not enough of it left to identify. But it had a lot of Milky Way tech on it. That's a big ass storm. Nope, nothing there. Right, you're the last one. Anomaly detected. Probes launched. Getting a scan. All right. I suppose it's a good idea to track storms on other planets to get a, a feel of what they're, what it might be like to live there. I do like how the design of the Scourge. There's a lot to like about this game. It's just a shame that A, they used the Frostbite engine and B, they gave it to the B team at Bioware. Let's, let's just put it that way. This could have been so much more, and it should have been, frankly. And I'm saying that as somebody who likes the game. Even with all the patches they did to try and fix it. Looks mostly unexplored. It was charted once, then the scourge happened. What's old is new. Anomaly detected. I completely lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, with all, even with all the patches they've done to improve it from how it was when it released, it's still broken. It's still not a, a good representation of what a Mass Effect game should be. But then again, a lot of that is down to the Frostbite. That is an engine that is purpose built for FPS games. It really wasn't designed with RPGs in mind. And apparently for the next Mass Effect they're going back uh, they're going back to the Unreal Engine which would be amazing if that's true because a Mass Effect game on Unreal Engine 5 will look Anomaly. amazing. Anomaly found. Okay, that's you sorted. Oh, I'm over there, so we head down here. That's very pretty. Detected. Yeah, I see it. Deploying probe. Satellite detected. Milky Way research data. 
Always good to have. Has 13. And there we go. That's this system 100% done. Nothing over there. Well, there might be. I'm pretty sure some of the arcs turn up in one of these systems. Well, all three arcs turn up eventually. I just can't remember when, how, or where. Do and investigate. Hmm. Wreck ship. Was it a, a cat ship? Nice. Skip all this. We don't need all this. All this traveling malarkey. Nalish. At least these worlds have names. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce it. Oh no, no, that's just the system. Alright, uh, that... That makes more sense. Alright, you're done, and then you. Ooh. Thought I heard the police. You don't hear too many of them about this this area. Okay. I can't go back to Aya yet until I've investigated Vold or the other planet. Let's get this other system out of the way. And then we'll push the story forward a bit. Sometimes I forget how small we are. Well, traveling a new galaxy, probably going to remind you how about how small you, we are. I'd like to get a telescope at some point so I can do a bit of stargazing, but I don't know how much they are or even what to look for. I like space stuff, but I am by no means an expert. You're done. All right. Now, do we do Vold first? Or the other one? Was it Javal? I remember. All right. Okay. Good, they're all explored now. They are all they are all done. Uh Haval or Vold. Meet the resistance. Help the scientists. I don't think it matters which way we go about it, really, so let's go to Vold or the old, whatever it's however you pronounce it.
You know what would really help in this galaxy? Mass Effect. Mass Effect. Uh. Oh fuck, what are they called? Mass Relays. That's the one. They'd be useful here. Maybe we could build some. I'm picking up something. For Andromeda 2. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. Yay! Copper. Meet the resistance, right? That's over there. So let's explore these quickly. Oh, that was handy. Detecting what's left of a ship. Yeah, looks like a safety pod from one of the, uh, an escape pod rather, from one of the arcs. Anomaly on sensors. Where? Another store. Deploying probe. Anomaly found. Well, that just gives me some XP. All right, fine, I'll take it. Here we go. Bold. Bold. Is this the ice planet? I think it might be the ice planet. Okay, bundle up, people. I'll stay on my nice warm ship. Hmm. Alright, PB, secret project, meet the resistance, trading favours. Uh. Right, what mod should I have? Max shields reduces health. Well, what good is that? Take her down, Callow. We designated this planet Habitat Six. Original readings suggest that it had a breathable, nitrogen-rich atmosphere and oceans of H two O. I take it that's no longer the case. All H two O in Habitat Six. Vold to the Angarai is ice, and those oceans frozen over completely. Well, there goes the dream of a seaside property. Don't worry, pretty sure there's a vault on a vault that we can activate. That's a pretty intense blizzard. LZ is on the windward side of the mountain, conditions are bad. I'm tracking gale force squalls. Pretty though. For a world made of ice. We good? We're good. We're good. You sure? Want us to get out and push? Very funny, Ryder. <laughs> I thought so. Better be quick. You didn't know anything was here? You wouldn't think anything was here. Step carefully. Ice and darkness. Deadly combination. This is an impressive setup. A functional base on an ice mountain. We're a strong people. 
were only momentarily burned. Ah, here's a heater. I uh, hear. Let me warm up for a second. I've never been this cold. We're almost there. We'll need to talk to Commander Anyuk when we arrive. Sounds good. Hello. Thank you. Cool. Let's go meet this commander then. Okay. No more scanning. Boo! But I can still scan all these. There we go. All worn back up. few things around here right hang on over here console that's not telling me what that is it's commander do seal another console the console Terminal, uh, translated from Shilish. I heard about the new visitors to Aya. Do I have to remind you what happened last time their kind contacted one of our worlds? Kadara is a cesspool because of them. I'm sure you and, and Enfra are receiving plenty of opinions from both sides. I trust you'll make the right call, Anyuk. I trust you'll make, I'll trust you'll make the right call, Anyuk. Aya and Vold can't be overrun by those things, and I don't trust that so-called Pathfinder any more than the rest of them. Version Alarm reporting in received some surprising news this week. Apparently, the human pathfinder activated the vault on EOS. Newcomers are now settling on the service. I don't know how to feel about this, Commander. It troubles me. A visitor from across dark space can access technology close to us for centuries. What does this mean? History tells us what happens when outsiders have more power than us. I apologize if I'm stepping out of line. With my comments simply thinking out loud, I trust your I trust your judgment in all things, Commander. No, oh, we're not very popular. Yeah, they kind of did. Give me a double dose of summer, quick. Are you? Just yes. What is it? You're that alien they've been talking about on comms, aren't you? Yep. Why are you standing here? Shouldn't you be talking to the commander? I'm not sure which question I should answer first. How about none of them? I simply wanted to express my surprise that someone was in my way. The commander said the alien wanted to help, but we need it. The emergency caches, maybe. Emergency caches? This is a war zone. Ked attacks are always a risk. Wounded. There's probably a cache of emergency medical supplies nearby. No substitute for real medical attention, but you'll survive long enough to reach it. Problem is the caches are empty right now. We're strained that no one's been out there to replenish supplies. There's no time to waste. I'll help with whatever you need. Supply crates are stacked by the wall over there. Directions to the caches are with them. You have a vehicle? Of course. Good. Get going. 
Ah, aren't you a delight? Uh, Commander, I'm so sorry we managed to push the kit back from uh, Tesh Teshix, but they knew we were coming. Had uh, traps laid out before we even crested the peak. Uh, Arjun didn't make it. He went down covering our saboteur, took out nearly a dozen kit before he fell. You'd have been pr so proud of him. I wanted to let you know before word got back in a less delicate way. I'll tell uh, uh, Ascarl to hold off on sending the notice. You should be able to break the news to your parents yourself. But Commander, I truly am sorry. I know this must be difficult to read, but know that uh, Arjun Duzeel was a hero today. Ah, uh, there's a Duzeel to talk to, so maybe that was uh, their brother or sister. Uh, uh, yeah, this must be their brother. Uh... Avoir mother, I hope you and Lavala are well. Little Fallon must be a handful by now. Mother, something happened. I sent Arjun on a mission and he didn't come back. He's not coming back. This officer tells me he failed protecting his squad. This is my fault. He should have had more training. I'm so text ended. Commander Dusil, we need more recruits for Haval. The Ket have reached the ruins. But their attempts on the on the capital have been bolded, have, have been bolder. I'm not sure how much we can hold out. I know you're stretched thin right now, and I heard about Argent, so I'm sure this is a difficult time for you. I wouldn't contact you if it wasn't if it wasn't urgent. I'll be in the field. Reach me by com at your earliest convenient, Captain Rowe. Uh, if you need patching up, you'll have to wait. A patrol just came through, and I need to see to them. Is it just you here? Volunteer medics are hard to come by, especially ones who can handle fold. It's actually warm in here. Those heaters work pretty well. We don't use them for heat. They generate artificial sun, so we don't go dark. What do you mean, go dark? Right, I suppose you wouldn't know about that. Our bodies generate energy from sunlight. If we don't get enough, our immune systems weaken and our bioenergy slows. We go dark. I see. It can't be easy living in a place like this. Between the cold and the lack of sun, it's tough to keep morale up. Most of us come from Aya or Haval, so it's a big adjustment. Immunity drops, people get sick. But if the civilians in the settlements can live here without complaint, so can we. I'll come back if I need anything. I'll be here. Hello. Right. Jarl, have you come back to us? Briefly. And these must be the strangers I've heard so much about. You know, if not for Jarl, I might kill you. <laughs> ah. This is my friend, Maisie. She helps supply the resistance. That must be difficult out here. Jarl's the brave one. How do you get supplies with the cat everywhere? The same way we came. There are caves at the hidden path all over. It's hard to fly in, so my children run most items through the caves, little by little. Children? Their size makes it hard for the cat to detect. We all do what we can out here, even children. Oof. How do you feel about Ephra? Some speak ill of the man, but his plan is bold and the resistance is important. I'll do what I can to help until I can't help anymore. Are you selling anything we could use? I have almost nothing left. What I do have, we need if we're going to stand any chance against the Ket. Maybe if you clear that Ket station on the south road, I'd be able to bring in more and spare something for you. Yep, yeah, sounds about right. Good luck and stay safe. Just make sure you return Jarl to us. Oop, data pad. Uh, from terms of the cast, transcripts as requested. Uh, star seek. Look, I told you I'm not interested in your collect. No, the Ket base. That's a big ship. Are those? Looks like fighter aircraft. They're bringing in more troops, bigger guns. That's not good. I'm going to cars. Keep watching. Log everything. Into the log. These are the emergency medical supplies the doctor mentioned. 
We have to get them to the caches. Sam, you saving the location data? Of course, Pathfinder. All right, good. Another mission picked up. All right, cool. A lot of chat going on here, but we're good. Then we can push on. Good to see you again, Commander Dozeal. And you, Jal. This is the alien. The one you think can help us. Yes. This is Ryder, of the Andromeda Initiative. I am Anyik Dozeal. Remember the name, because if you betray us, I will kill you myself. Be assured that what I do to you will make the stars turn their faces and grow dark. I have no intention of betraying you. Say what you want. It is the hands that reveal true intention. If you wish to prove yourself, be an ally in our fight against the Ket. Despite our best efforts, their growing forces remain a threat to our people. Speak to our lookouts who watch the valley. They'll know where our need is dire. Jarl, watch them, and be careful yourself, my friend. Hmm. I always am. All right. If anything I else to say. No, that's a no. Uh, shift change, Ket leader goes to the console, speaks of unknown, Ket patrol returns, reports nothing unusual, enters camp, quickly dispatched, Ket comes close to bug location, checks weapon, checks weapon again. Group of five, Ket leave base to deal with roving wild wraith herd. Cat leader makes daily report to unknown superior. Glitch in feed, unsure what's causing it. Cat leader checks weapon for fifth time today. Feed cuts out for two minutes, reported. Cat leader delivers hour long speech to underlings. Cat leave in the direction of Ajara, reported possibly incoming attack. Cat leader reports in, immediately checks weapon. Static on feed, cuts out for seven minutes. Ket leader dispatches patrol in rover, unsure of destination. Feed gone dark, reported. Feed still down, possible issue with network. Or, they found your bug. Hello. Apologies, Pathfinder. I'm a little busy at the moment. Everyone's busy. Nobody wants to talk to me. Right, hold on. Console there, another console there. Track of our brothers and sisters in the field. Good. I apologize, Alice. My pilot says she made the supply drop at the nav point. I can't figure out why they never reached you. I'll have Anya try again with the new shipment, free of charge. The resistance won't starve over a technical issue. Looks like supplies aren't getting through to the resistance. Olisk is in charge of requisitions. We should speak with him. Sounds good. Uh, we're seeing an increase in activity around Jarnik. The Ket have erected a barrier of some kind around the dig. Scouts have spotted abducted Angara moving around behind the shield. Looks like the Ket have them working or something. Can't uh, We can't tell what it is. Also, more reports of abductions. The Ket appear to have stopped trying to attack the Dara. Too well defended, that's good. However, it looks like they've focused their attacks on people travelling across the planet. Ambushes have increased. We should make sure the warning gets out. Not likely. They don't venture this close to the camp. Pathfinder, I was told to expect you. Dove your cars, Chief. 
Chief Intelligence Officer. I want to brief you on Vold. Any questions about the planet? Ask away. Excellent. How does the Resistance plan to win this war? We don't have the forces to fight a planet-wide war. Our only hope is a strategic strike. The center of all KED operations on Vold is across the valley. If we take down their command structure, it will weaken them. At least, that is our hope. Is that a map of Vold? A living map, yes. Every region on the planet is represented. Updated in real time as we get information from scouts and contacts. You can see the nearest Dara, the Jara Techix, and Yarnik, the archaeological dig the KED have occupied. The bright spots on the map, are those cities? Cities under siege by the Ket, yes. The largest, Destroyer, was our capital. Was? It's hard to think of a city as a capital when it's just a maze of empty streets and burnout buildings. But buildings can be rebuilt. We are more than our cities. That's true. Tell me more about Astraya. It's the recent focus of Ket attacks. They think they can break our spirit by tearing down our walls. The Ket learned that we fight to the death, and they would rather we submit. So they destroy our Dara, our homes. They drive us into the cold and expect us to give in. They underestimate the Angora. You mentioned the word Dar. What does it mean? Well, translated directly, it means rock foundation. A Dar is smaller than a city, but larger than a settlement. There are several out here. Angora who live in Dara are combat trained, ready for anything. I guess they'd need to be. They take pride in defending themselves. But the Ket are bolder lately. The Dara are their new target. We've had to change our tactics to protect them. More patrols with the Dara means fewer raids on Ket camps. The Ket know this and use it against us. I think I have enough info. If you need anything else, I'll be here. Well, thank you. Right, she's not going to talk to us for the moment. Let's chat with you now. Pathfinder, something I can do for you? You the requisitions officer? I hear you're having supply issues. Of course not. I don't know what you've heard, but everything is running fine. I saw the messages sent to you. What are you hiding? Keep your voice down. I need to keep this news contained. No one knows the shipments have stopped. If word gets around, we'll have a serious morale drop. I need to investigate this quietly. You have any leads? Not much. The supplies make it planet side, but never reach the base. The obvious answer is the Kent. Sabotage is their style. We changed our drop point, but no luck. I can't send someone to investigate without word getting around. I guess there's no avoiding it eventually. I can take a look at the drop point. That way no one will panic. I can't sanction an official search, but I also can't stop you from investigating on your own. The nav point for the last drop location is in my personal console. You seem to be adept at decryption, so I'll let you figure out the rest. Hmm. That's true. Cool, we've got the supply Decryption drop. Successful Pathfinder. Updating your nav system with a supply drop point. Excellent. All right, we've spoken to everyone we can here. What are we doing for time? Oh, blimey. Hello. Whoa, didn't mean to sneak up on you. Your commander said you could show us the valley. Zeke, I don't want to talk to it. You talk to it. Ryder has a name. You named it? How do you even tell them apart? Stars, Beniska, just stop talking. 
Yeah, we can show you the valley. What are you looking for? I'm here to help your people. Know anyone who needs it? We've got reports from Hajara about someone trying to rescue a kidnapped family. See those red lights? That's it. If you're here to help, like the commander says, you could start there. Anything else? Those red lights. You said that's Hajara? Yes. Hajara Station. One of the Dar in the valley. It's a small community, mostly scientists. There's people there that might need help if you haven't checked it out already. How do people manage to live down there? Why so surprised? We've adapted to this weather. Those lights are conspicuous. Don't the cat attack? We've adapted to that too. The cat wants to take us alive, so we fight to the death. It seems to deter them. What's that alien facility on that mountain over there? That's the Ket Command Center. We have constant eyes on it. What's its purpose? It controls Ket operations on the entire planet. There's always ships coming and going. I came face to face with the Prefect there. Meanest, motherless Bissan I ever saw. Even the Ket seemed afraid. We don't have much intel on her, though. Do you know of any remnant sites or ruins? Uh, I think so. Actually, I don't know. Seek, do you ever read the dailies? No, you'll tell me if I need to know something. So where is it? Tall lights, over on your right somewhere. I'll let you get back to your work. Yeah, you behave, we're watching you. No, oh, that could have gone better. Tempest, we're gonna need the Nomad, my position. Deploying forward station. Good luck, Ryder. Activating automated forward station deployment. Hell yeah! And then we call the Nomad. Whoops. Mining zones in this. Okay, Sam, what's Vold got for us? Cat activity appears to be centered around this large central command post. According to Resistance Intelligence, the base coordinates all cat military efforts on Vold. And taking it down will cripple their operations. In theory. However, given the trouble the Angara Resistance has had infiltrating the base, it will not be a simple task. I recommend a more cautious approach that starts with the investigation of smaller cat installations. Fair enough. Suggestions on how to get on Ephra's good side? Resistance dispatches indicate there is someone in Hajara who needs help. We could visit Tekix, a larger and more established Angara Dar that is nearby. Sounds good. Thanks, Sam. Pathfinder, Vault's temperature range is fixed well below freezing, with pockets of even more severe conditions. This necessitates the use of the Nomad. I advise against prolonged exposure to the cold. Got it. Don't crash the car. Our scans have detected remnant monoliths, which suggests the presence of a Vault. And that means we might be able to melt this ice cube. Alright, nice. we've got our work cut out for us. Let's get going. Alright. But that's going to have to wait until the next episode. Whoops. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I'll be signal later. This has been Mass Effect Andromeda, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.